fellow readers. It's been a while since I've read a new book um, and shared a story with you, but sometimes days are just very busy. And so today I wanted to make time to read a story. And this story came from my school library. It's called Hidden Gem. And my librarian recommended that I read it to my class, which I haven't yet because we're so busy. Um, but we will soon, so you get to hear it before my class. I am a rock. I rock and roll and tumble. On my hand. Okay, don't fall, phone. I wonder what those rocks do. Museum of Rocks. Ooh. Here are rocks of many forms and tones, so many kinds I've never known. Look at this one. And it says, world's most beautiful gem, right this way, on the next page. These rocks shock and glow and humble. I want to be special too. How do I become like you? That must be the most special gem. What if I go where you go? Or do what you do. Can I mold myself into a different shape? Or paint myself a different hue? Hmm, can that rock be changed? What will help me fit in? Or make me something completely new? Is the me that I see the best I can be world's most beautiful gem. Ooh, there it is. They're all looking in awe or envy. Wait, who is that precious gem I spy? Why, it's none other than I. Let's go back and look. The little rock. You can see its reflection in the most beautiful gem. World's most beautiful gem. I found myself and now I see. Being special is being me. And it's not just me, it's also you. Everyone is special too. What a great little rock museum. There we go, there's a rock. And there's a picture of the author, Lindy Lou, made out of rocks, I think. That is a sweet book about rocking and rolling and seeing yourself as precious as you can be. I hope you enjoyed it, and I promise I'll be back with more stories soon. Keep reading.